Okay, this is the Ractuous Gaming Mechanical Keyboard, and it's this guy right here. So you can see I have a couple other keyboards alongside. This is a Skyloon SK61, goes by various names. Um, this is a HS K870T. Uh, this is my daily driver, a really nice keyboard. So we're going to take a look at this guy and compare it to some of these other keyboards here. So number one, design wise and size wise, you can see this is a very compact keyboard. So very similar in size to the Skyline SK61. But what you'll see is interesting is that unlike the SK61, um, it has dedicated arrow keys. So the SK61, the biggest problem with it and similar keyboards, it doesn't have a dedicated up arrow key. And that means you always have to use FN to access the up arrow uh, where you have to remap it so you can access the uh, slash and the question mark. On this keyboard, what's nice is you do have a dedicated up arrow key. So you don't have to um, get any funky key combinations to get access to all of this functionality. But there is a couple of issues here, a couple of small issues here. Number one is the positioning of this slash and question mark. So if you do a lot of uh, normal typing, coding, and things like that, um, doesn't work out really well because you're you're constantly going to be hitting the up arrow key when you actually want to hit the slash or the question mark key. So that is one problem with the layout of this keyboard. But otherwise, it is really nice having this uh, full complement of arrow keys uh, because you can, you know, even though it's the same packaging size as the SK61, it's just that much easier on your fingers because you don't have to hit this funky FN uh, up arrow key to get access to that functionality. Okay, so one of the other things, of course, is it can be wireless as it is right now, or you can plug it in as well. The main downside I found with the wireless functionality is that it cuts out the Bluetooth really quickly, see that? So then you have to press a couple keys to wake it up uh, from its sleep. Um, so it is quite aggressive with the sleep time and you'll often find yourself even if you walk away for a short break see that it's already off again and then you have to kind of hit get it to get it to wake back up again uh, other than that it's a it has really great lighting effects so you have a lot of different options with the lighting effects to get the look that you want um, in my case sometimes i leave it off for maximum battery life but if you want the lighting effects you have a lot of options you just hit the fn key and you can select from various different modes. Uh, lots of options to get the look that you're going for. Okay. So let's give it a listen. These are uh, red, key, red mechanical switches. So like this keyboard here as well, is also a red mechanical switch. Well, I believe these are Gatorons. And then these are also Gatorons, uh, but these are brown. So give you a, let you hear the little bit of difference between the red, the brown, um, in different keys. Okay. So we'll do a quick typing speed test here. All right. Ready? Okay, so this is the Ractuous, uh, Ractuous, and you know I really like the sound because it's it's very silent. So you don't, even though it's a mechanical keyboard and feels great to type on, it's not obnoxiously loud, right? Um, now here for comparison is the Ajaz K8 K860T, which has round switches. Okay, so we'll do the same typing test here. All right, so you can definitely tell this is a much louder keyboard um, with the brown switches and the red switches are really, they're both really nice to type on. The brown one, in my opinion, uh, these are Gatorons and they are, they, this is my daily driver. I really like it because there's just a bit more resistance than the reds. Um, 
but uh, both are really satisfying to type on. The Again, the only key challenge with this is the layout, where if you do a lot of programming, for example, you're going to reach over here to try to hit the uh, slash with a question mark, and you're going to hit the up arrow key. And you have to kind of do an extra reach with your pinky to get to the question mark. Um, just for reference, here's, here's the Skyloon SK61, also red mechanical switches here. Um, okay, so it's uh, definitely even a, a bit louder than the Rack to us when um, these are, both of these here are Gatarons and this is a Cherry MX. So it's a uh, really nice mechanical switches, um, really great keyboard. The only downside is this reach to get to the, uh, the slash and question mark, which, you know, if you're not, if you're primarily using this for gaming, it's a great keyboard, um, especially when it's in wired mode, because you won't have this situation where it goes to sleep on, goes to sleep on you. But if you're using this for doing any sort of typing where, uh, work, um, it's tricky because you have to train yourself to reach over here. So overall, a really nice keyboard, really pleasant to type on, um, just not quite for people who have to type every day uh, for professional reasons. All right.